Welcome, welcome everyone. We're gonna wait a few minutes for everyone to join the room today and then we're gonna get started on a very exciting craft. So come on in, take a seat, relax. It's a beautiful summer afternoon and we're here to have a lot of fun. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. So good to see you all. Hello. This is fantastic. So many fun faces to see today. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. It's so nice to see you. I'm going to change one thing on my laptop so I can see myself a little bit better. And then we're going to get going here. Okay. Again, welcome everyone. It's a little after four o'clock uh, where I am in New York City. We're gonna give a couple minutes for all of our friends to join today. Um, we've got a really exciting craft for everyone. My name is Jonathan Daniel, and I'm gonna be leading a craft with you today. Hello, hi everyone, I see you. Can I get some waves, a little shake? Yeah, does everyone have their Elmer's glue ready for today's? Exciting craft. Show me those bottles. Cool. There they are. I see them. I've got mine. In fact, I've got plenty right here on the table, right? We're going to do uh, start the event in just about one minute and then I'll get the all clear to start recording and move on here. A few more people in. Again, welcome. My name is Jonathan Daniel. I'm with Elmer's coming to you from New York City. A lovely hot and humid summer afternoon. For most of you, I'm assuming it's very warm today where you are, hopefully nice and sunny. All right, so let's get this activity started, okay, everyone? First of all, again, my name is Jonathan Daniel. I'm coming to you from New York City, my tiny but spacious apartment. Usually I'd be cooking in this kitchen, but today we're gonna do a really exciting craft with you. But before we jump into the craft, I want to talk to you a little bit about some of my favorite Elmer's products that I have in front of me. Some of you may or may not be familiar with them. Glitter glues, slime kits, our new goo, very exciting stuff, and some activator. I'm sure a lot of you know Elmer's for slime, which is so much fun. My niece and nephew, Aubrey and Owen, are on the line today and they know all about that. Hi guys. All right, but today we're going to make rolled paper flowers, okay? It's a really exciting craft. As you see, I have some beautiful flowers on my table here, um, but we're gonna make them with uh, just a few simple materials uh, to really build out this craft. So everyone should have, at a minimum, four different colors of construction paper, they usually come in big packs like this, right? So find four colors that you want to make your flower with today. You're going to need one color for your stem. Mine, I'm choosing green. You're going to need a center, okay, in the center of the flower. I have an example here on the table that I'm showing. This is yellow, okay? And then we have different petals on the flower. Now this one only had four, today we're gonna to make six petals. But the two different colors, I have purple and pink here for my petals. So go ahead and pick out your different colors. You can pick blue, green, whatever you want. Today we're having a lot of fun. And so there's no rules. The only rule, actually there is one rule. The only rule everyone is to have fun, relax and chill. There's, that's all we need to do is just have fun. We're here together as friends and we're gonna have a great time, okay? So this is our example flower. And I also wanna call out um, that in addition to the construction paper, you should have your four pieces selected by now, you're gonna need some Elmer's glue. I have white school glue with me today, but it's okay if you don't have the white school glue. Hey, I see an Elmer's glue all on the screen there, hi. I see those white school bottles, that's great. If you don't have the Elmer's school glue, you can use our Elmer's clear glue, purple glue, or even a glue stick will work just fine. What else do you need? 
right? So if we're making the, the flower, we're gonna need something to cut this paper with. I've got some handy dandy scissors here, but I've got bigger hands, so I'm gonna use some adult scissors today. Okay, so again, the things that you're gonna need for this very simple yet rewarding activity are some four pieces at a minimum, three to four pieces of uh, different colored paper, construction paper, your Elmer's glue, and your scissors. Hey, Jonathan. Yes. We've got some kids asking if they need colored, if it has to be colored paper. Okay, yeah. they can. Yeah, so we recommend using the colored paper, but what's really cool here is you can use white paper if you have that at home. Um, you can decorate towards the end of the class today. I'm gonna talk about different ways that you can spice this up a little bit, right? We're in the kitchen and that's where spices are. So we're gonna spice up the flour a little bit. But if you have white paper, that's, that's just fine. You can also um, color your paper ahead of time before cutting your strips and that will work just as well. Any other questions? Um, what if they only have three colors? That's fine as well. So just use one for the stem one for the center, and then the last color for your petals. Anything else? Is there any substitute they can use for the glue? Yeah, so um, we have, again, the pourable glue. If you have white glue, um, the purple glue, if you, even if you have any of our glitter glues, these will work just fine. Something that's gonna make it stick. Um, or a glue stick. We've got a variety of different glue sticks available. Um, hopefully you have one of those. And last resort, if you don't have any glue for the Elmer's presentation today, try to get a very small piece of tape along the way and see if we can make it work, okay? Continue to send in those questions, all great questions so far, guys. Thanks, Jonathan. Yeah, definitely. And also, as we're going through this activity today, think about someone that you may want to give this special flower to. This one that I created yesterday, I'm going to give to my grandma this upcoming week when I go and see her. Um, but the one that I'm making today is going to be for a special someone. So let's go ahead and start building our paper flower using our Elmer's glue and the other materials on the table here. I'm going to use, I'm going to keep, excuse me, the example flower um, right on the table here. Um, hopefully you guys can see it just fine, but I also want you to see all the steps that I'm doing to sort of go through this entire process here. The first thing we're gonna do is start with the color that we're going to use for our petals. Now we're gonna create six petals on the flower today. Therefore, we're going to need six, six, strips of paper. Now, it's important here that as you're cutting, you try to do your best to keep the pieces of paper very even, but it's okay if they're not, and some can be a little um, diagonal, but let's try to keep them straight, right? And so one way to um, cut really helpful for uh, straight, even strips is to use your thumb and to measure out the width of the strip. So, Marking, using the width of my strip, I'm going to cut a strip, six strips, approximately that width on this pink piece of paper. So everyone right now should have their, uh, their piece of paper for their petal and start to think through their different strips and start cutting the lines on the paper. And I'm gonna start showing you right here, cutting my first strip of paper. And this process, guys, this is probably gonna take the longest, but and this is where I really want you to you know, pay attention, have fun, but just keep your eye on creating those nice strips of paper. Because at the end, this is what's gonna really help us to build our flower. So at this point, I cut one strip and I'm gonna let everyone catch up, but here is the strip of paper. And you can see, it's about the width of my thumb. I'll hold my hand up a little bit closer. Okay. And this is really great. I love this pink. This is really gonna make this uh, flower pop in the end. Again, there's my strip and here's my thumb. And you can see it's about the width of my thumb, a nice strip. And as you start cutting the strips, you're cutting six of these, you're just gonna put them on the side. Nothing to do right now, just keep cutting them. Nice even strips. 
Now, along our little journey this hour, I'm going to also, I also have a couple really exciting Elmer's related trivia questions. And so you're like me, I hope that you, hope that you like trivia because these are some really cool questions. And after we finish our first six strips here, I'm gonna ask the first question. But it's related to Elmer's. I've now cut my second strip again. Now they're next to each other here. And you can see again, they're very similar. They're not perfect and that's a-okay because, you know, as we look outside and we're looking in gardens or um, if we're at the grocery store and we see flowers, all flowers are very unique, right? No flower is the same. So it's important that we keep that in mind here. And there's over, from what I was told, 900 of you on the line today from all over. So whether you're in California or New York or Florida, we are so happy and thankful to have you with us today. It really means a lot to us. All right, I've now cut three strips for my petals. And I'm going on to number four. Make sure you're being careful along the way using your scissors. We don't want any accidents today. There's strip number four. And just a reminder, guys, we are doing some really exciting classes all week long. I'll talk to you more about them once we're done with the um, activity today. But we at Elmer's have partnered up with Michaels for a week long of fun and excitement. And I'm super happy to be with you on day number one. How are those strips coming along? Can I see some strips? Show me some strips. Show me some love. Oh, I see blue strips. Very nice. A blue flower. All right, guys, I'm cutting my last strip now. And then we're going to go right into a quick trivia question. All right, so that is done. So the first question for everyone on the line today is, where is Elmer's school blue made? Is it made in Ohio, North Carolina, or South Carolina? Think about an answer. Feel free to send it in on the chat. So the question was, where is Elmer's school blue made? Ohio, North Carolina, or South Carolina? answer that question in just a moment. The next thing we're going to go on to is our scent, uh, excuse me, our, uh, if you have a, another color for your petals, let's cut out six more strips for your petals and start doing that uh, right now and we'll go through that. And the answer to that exciting trivia question is North Carolina. So if you got North Carolina guys, give yourself a big round of applause. Now, if you don't have the, for the second color for your petals, that's a-okay. You can start cutting strips for your center. And I'll get to this in just a moment, but you want to use maybe like a yellow for the center. And you're going to need between two and three strips there for your center. Okay, you can start cutting those out. So I chose pink and red today because I really like roses. I don't think this flower is necessarily going to look like a rose, but that's okay. It's still going to be really pretty. If you do have that second color, guys, for your uh, petals, make sure you're doing the same number. So we cut six before, we'll cut six again. Hey, are there any questions that I can answer on the line? Let me know if you need to repeat a step. So we've got some kids who joined us a little bit late. Hello. And they just need you to repeat um, with the supplies that they need right now. Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, welcome, hello. Welcome to the party, everyone. My name's Jonathan, I'm with Elmer's. We're doing rolled paper flowers today. It's a really exciting activity. This is day number one of five days of fun. Okay, for Michaels and Elmer's. 
So if you're signed up for today's class, you're not going to want to miss the remainder of the week. We've got four more days of exciting projects. What we're doing today, again, is the roll paper flowers and recreating. It looks very similar to this roll paper flower right in my hands right now. Okay, you're going to need Elmer's glue, preferably a, a bottle of white school glue. You could have clear or purple. You're going to need between three and four sheets of construction paper. Uh, this is, I'm using red, pink, yellow, and green, green for the stem of the flower. Um, but if you don't have construction paper today, if you don't have any color paper, that's a-okay. You can still follow along and do this activity. Also, this class is being recorded. So if you have friends that you want to tell about this, or you want to come back tomorrow or next week and see us again, you can watch it at a later point to catch back up, okay? Right now, what we're doing, though, is cutting out strips of paper to construct the flower in just a few minutes. And I'm working on my second color um, that will be incorporated into the petals. Can you use two colors for the same part? Of course. This is one of those projects, guys, where really you have to just follow sort of the foundation. But at the end of the day, it's all you. It's very, it will leave it up to you whether you want to have a flower with five different colored petals or one. You can have a blue stem, you can have an orange stem. Make it unique, right? Because we're all unique and no two flowers are the same. So at this point, everyone, I have now cut my six strips of red. Again, my petals will be a pink and a red. Yesterday when I made this one, it was a purple and pink with four petals. So I'm just gonna do a little bit different today. How's everyone doing? Looking good. Hello, hello. So exciting. Glad to see everyone here. The next sheet of paper, I am picking up yellow. You can pick up any color you want, but this is gonna be the color that we're gonna use for the center of the flower. I'm using yellow because most often a lot of uh, flowers have a yellow center, and so that's what I've chose to use today. But again, choose whichever color you'd like to use, okay? Now for this, I'm gonna only cut two or three strips. Um, at a minimum, you really need one, but I'm gonna cut three just in case I wanna add a little bit more texture to the flower, okay? Again, we're sticking with about a thumb width for the strips, so sh nice long strips of paper. Some kids want to know if they can cut the strips horizontally or if they have to be you can straight cut up them and down. That's a great question and thank you for asking. You can cut them horizontally if you'd like. That's definitely fine. Definitely fine and a great call out. So whoever asked that question, thanks for asking. All right. That's strip number two. And then we have strip number three. Again, if you want to cut a couple more, that's perfectly fine. I'm choosing to just do three today. And then any extra paper, save it for another project, guys. Don't throw this in the trash. This is great. We can always recycle the paper. I'm just putting it aside here in the kitchen where I'm at. Okay, so that's my third color. And that's again going to be for the center of the flower. Who's ready for another trivia question? I see a hand, couple hands. There we are. Hi guys. Hey, great to see you. So how many countries around the world is Elmer's product sold in? The question is how many countries around the world is Elmer's sold in? Is it 10? Not five. Is it 10? Is it 52 or is it 195 countries? Type your answers in and we'll announce the correct answer in just a moment. Again, how many countries around the world are Elmer's products sold? Is it 10, 52, or 195? Before I answer, give the answer, Let's start talking about 
our stem, right? The stem is what's going to hold the flower up, right? It holds flowers up coming out of the ground. And as I'm talking to you guys right now, we're getting a little bit of rain here in New York City. And rain, of course, is very good for flowers as it helps them grow. All right, the answer to our question. Let's see how many people got it right. If you got this right, raise your hands. 52 countries around the world. I see it. Good job. Good job. I see you out there. Hello. That's so awesome. Yes, we sell our products around the world in 52 different countries. All right, back to the project, everyone. Here we are. We're almost done with cutting out our strips of paper. So again, back to green. For the stem, we need three strips. That's three strips. Okay. If you're looking at the example on the table, I have one petal, um, one leaf over here, another leaf on the left hand side, and then the long stem coming down. Okay. Let's go ahead and start cutting the strips. Are there any questions? How's everyone doing? Let's do a check in. Does the stem need to be wider than the other strips or can it be the same? I'm making mine the exact same, but hey, if you want to go a little bit wider, I don't see why not. One thing that I, I caution against is going really thin. Um, I, when I was testing this out um, yesterday, um, I noticed that it was probably a little bit better to just, again, stick to that width of the thumb as a minimum. That's a, a good practice there. So we'll have three strips for our stem. Boy, these scissors are very loud. These are a new pair of scissors that they sent me and they're, they're nice and sharp. Definitely a nice pair of uh, scissors helps with this project, everyone. Okay, I'm working on my last strip over here. Okay, and I now have three green strips down on the table, okay? Now, once you're done with your cutting, you can say goodbye to the scissors because you're really not going to need them anymore for this project. We're down to your creative imagination, right? To, put, to build the flower and then start working with our glue that you have on the table. We're going to give everyone just a little bit of time to catch up if you need some more time cutting out your strips. Um, and don't be afraid to ask for help if you have a, a mom or dad there, or grandma, grandpa, or older brother, sister. Uh, feel free to ask them for some help to help you finish those strips up. Again, we want our four colors of strips. Uh, three or four is great. Okay. We have someone asking if they can use pipe cleaners. Ooh, that's really exciting. I think that's definitely a great uh, idea. Uh, I'm assuming you're you might be referring to make, using them as a, for a stem or a petal. I think that's great. Why not? You can probably even use some of our Elmer's glue to attach them. If you have a mixture of paper, um, you can maybe take the pipe cleaner and sort of glue it along the paper. Um, and you can also use a pipe cleaner to help make the stem a little bit more sturdy, which is um, you know, something that you guys can definitely do. Any other questions? Yeah, they need to, can you please repeat how many strips of each color that they need? Yeah, that's a great question. Thanks for asking. So at the beginning of the project, right, we started with our pink and our red for our petals. Again, if you only have one color for your petal, that's a-okay. I'm just using two today, but I have six strips here for six different petals. This flower has four. If you have less, that's fine, but if we want to stay together, I'm doing, with, doing six. For the center of the flower, where my finger's pointing to right now, we have, I have three strips. At a minimum, you need one. I have a couple extra just because what you can do, and we'll, we'll start to do this as we're moving through the activity, um, you can start to bring it to life a little bit more and bring a little bit more pizzazz to the project. Or as I mentioned before, you could spice it up. And then lastly, for the stem, you're going to want three pieces of paper for the stem. Okay, before we jump in to gluing and constructing our beautiful flower on this hot summer afternoon, everyone, we're gonna do our final trivia question. And the trivia question today is, which came first, 
Was it Elmer's white school glue? Was it our purple glue? Or was it our clear pourable glue? You have three choices there. Which one was it? Which came first? White glue, purple glue, or clear glue? Give you some time to answer that question. Send it in. Let us know what you're thinking. I'm seeing some purples. I'm seeing some clears. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I'll we'll answer in just a minute, guys. Very exciting. For now, though, what we want to do is grab your glue bottle. I see some glue all there. Very nice. And what we're going to do is we're going to start by constructing the petals. And this activity just involves rolling, everyone. It really just involves rolling the paper and putting a small amount of glue onto the paper and then pinching the pieces together. Okay? And we're going to start with the petals. But before we start with the petals, we must answer that trivia question. Which came first, white glue, clear glue, or purple? The answer, everyone, and it's right in front of me here, is Elmer's white pourable school glue. You probably see this in a lot of your classrooms and have it at home. Very exciting. So let's start with our first petal. What I'm going to do, and you can watch me as I'm going through, I'm just gonna roll my paper together. And then at the end, I'm going to put a small bead of glue and then pinch it together. Now, depending on how big you want your petals, you can leave some a little bit bigger and some a little bit smaller. For mine today, I'm gonna to do just a larger petal initially because I'm going to put a second color into this and that color is going to be the red one. So this is petal number one. And all I'm doing, I'm gonna to try to show you here, is just putting a small amount of glue. There you go. And then pinch it, okay? And it's okay if you're not perfect with the glue. I make mistakes. And we're just gonna set that aside, okay? We've done one sort of outer shell of our petal. So again, let's do the next one here. You can make them small, you can make them large, depending on how you want your flower to look. Now for those of you that were cutting the paper widthwise rather than long way like I was, um, you'll have a little bit less strip to work with, but that's okay. And one thing that I want to make you aware of as I'm doing this today is I want to kind of keep all of my petals the same so that they're uniform. Any questions now that we've started the gluing process? Yes, can they use a paintbrush to put the glue on? Ooh, very exciting. You know what's funny is I actually have paintbrushes right here, right in front of me. But this is for another activity on Wednesday, but if you have them, definitely pull them out. If that's easier for you just to adhere the glue, go for it. I don't mind today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a little crafty and put some glue on my fingers. What's nice about this glue is that it's washable and comes right off. Okay. So now I've done, oops, the second petal. And I'm just gonna continue rolling along here. You get the idea. This is where rolled paper flowers comes in, right? Again, keeping them kind of uniform. And at first, you're probably wondering, how is this going to become a flower, Jonathan? Well, as you start moving through the different steps, you start to see how this comes to life, sort of like a real flower. Right, I'm now on petal number four. Again, just that small dab of glue and then a little pinch and then release. Easy peasy. Can I see some of those petals? Let's take a little pause here. Can I see your petals? Cool, I see one there. Let's, oh, very nice. Oh, that's great. Good job, everyone. I feel like I'm a little behind now. Okay. And keep sending your questions in if something's confusing, if you don't know, just feel free to stop me and ask. That's petal number four. And now, excuse me, petal number five. And now petal number six, a little pinch and glue. 
Okay. Now, what I'm going to do next is my inner color, which will be the red. Okay, so we're gonna, we've now finished sort of the, the starting of the framework for this flower. And we have our pink petals, and we're gonna add a little red on the inside of them. This is gonna require a couple dabs of blue because we're gonna wanna again pinch here. We're gonna blue and pinch for the second color. And then I'm going to add that. I have to make it a little bit smaller to fit inside the pink. But then I'm going to glue it inside of the pink here. You can see in my hand, if anyone needs me to stop and show, just let me know. But to do that, let's make sure we either uh, add a little bit of glue to the pink petal or to the red, and then adhere it on the inside. Okay, there's my second color there. So again, guys, if you're, you've had a step away for a second, you're just a little bit behind, that's okay. I'm just adding the second color here for my flower. Cool, this is really starting to look really pretty. I'm gonna call this the Valentine's Day flower. A little late for Valentine's Day, but just because it's red. All right. Adding my second color into my second petal here. Then going to go into the third strip of my red. And we're just having fun here. Again, this, the only rule here is just having fun and getting creative with, with Elmer's today. Just about ready to add my red into my third petal. And just a little dab of glue goes a long way. And you'll see that some of my, some of my petals look different from each other, and that's okay because, again, they're all really unique. Adding my fourth strip. And are there any questions? They want to know how you're getting the teardrop shape. Ooh. That's a great question. I don't even know why I'm getting the teardrop shape. So let's see, let's talk about that. Let me just finish this last one. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe I'm doing some magic over here. Um, so let's see, I'll slow down. Got a little glue on my hands. Slow down here. So all I'm doing is I'm just kind of taking this strip and this strip. And there's a big overlap because I took the long ones. Um, and then they're just sort of naturally for me like that, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the New York City air over here that's kind of doing that, guys. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, regardless of the shape, if you have a circle, um, that will work just fine. I don't think anyone's going to have a square or a triangle. Um, so it's probably something similar to mine. Um, you can also sort of guide it by uh, pinching a little bit. If you pinch and you can kind of almost use your fingers to kind of manipulate our, uh, the, the sides of this, which is kind of cool. All right, so we're almost near the end of our, our petals here. We've got kids asking, do you have to use the same color for every petal oh, or can you gosh, teach? No, oh no, no, no. You could, I have a stack here of probably 10 different colors. If you've got orange, purple, blue, black, whatever you want to use, brown, those are all great colors. You can make your flower one color. You can make your color, your flower, excuse me, five different colors. It's whatever you want to do. Just for purposes of this presentation and the, and the craft activity today, I just chose four of them. Alrighty, everyone, I am on my last petal here. My last pink and red petal for my Valentine's flower. Again, we're just using the little pinches of glue. I'm using white Elmer school glue, but you can use the clear glue. You can use your glue all. You can use a glue stick if you have one at home. But I find that for this activity, this is your go-to right here. 
okay? Now, you can start to see on the table here how I have my six petals starting to form, but something's missing. Two things are missing, right? I'm missing my center and I'm missing my stem that's going to come out of the flower. So I am going to start the center of the flower. Um, if you recall, I chose to cut three different strips of paper. Um, but I, at a minimum, right, you're going to need just one strip of paper and then your petals will be glued to that strip of paper. I'm going to take my center, my yellow piece, and I'll just do a, a center probably around that big, which is probably about three inches wide. And again, just a small dab of glue. And then your pinch, just for a couple seconds, and then release. So let's start to form this here, right? Look at that. We have a flower coming together, okay? And the placement of your petals, it's really wherever you want them to be. You want all your petals on one side because maybe a big gust of wind came through and blew all the petals away, that's perfectly fine. I'm gonna make mine uniform and have three and three on each side. Now, if you did cut extra strips for your center, this is an opportunity for you to kind of do what I did yesterday on the table here. You see how I have a couple strips of paper in the center, right? This was not just one, this was multiple. So I'm going to just add two more smaller circles into the larger yellow circle. Again, keeping in mind, this does not have to be perfect. Okay, so there's a center. In fact, I probably could have gone a little bit smaller on that one, but that's okay. I'm not perfect, that's okay. And then I'm going to do my last strip. And hopefully you guys can see this just fine. But I'm gonna make this one kind of probably a little bit tinier. A small circle there. And then just my last dab of glue for this part of the flower. And pinch and release. And I'm gonna add it again into here, making sure that you're gluing all of these together. Hi, everyone. How are we doing? Can I get some waves, some check-ins here? Everyone's happy and excited? Cool. Hello. Hi, everyone. So that is the center of our paper flower. Cool. We've got a big thunderstorm rolling in right now. So if you see bursts of light on me, it's because there's lightning outside. Okay. I've got a question. Yeah. Can they make smaller circles inside the petals too? Oh, yes, of course. Definitely, guys. You can make this. And what's uh, another thing that I want to call out is you can also find this uh, these step-by-step -step instructions on the Michaels website. So if you're going back after and you don't maybe want to watch the whole recording again, you can watch, you can read through the entire process online. And we've got step-by-step -step instructions there to kind of show you how to go back through the process. But again, this is this is you guys making something nice and unique, something that expresses you, right? So the next step of our process, and we're more than halfway through this class today, is attaching our petals to our center. We gotta make them attach somehow, right? So we're gonna hold on to our glue bottle and we're gonna start adhering with the glue the petals to the center of the flower. This might require a little bit more uh, glue, but I'm just going to attach it right to the yellow. And again, it doesn't matter where your, your petals are, I'd like mine to be uniform today, so I'm putting around three on each side. The second one's attached. The third one here. And again, a nice uh, pinch and then release will help ensure that the glue um, is sticking everything together for you because we don't want this to fall apart, especially if you're gonna give it to a friend or a family member. 
um, want this to last for them. Cool. Petal number four is attached. Moving on to petal number five. And then we'll round things out with our stem. Cool. Any questions? How are we doing? Yeah, we've got some kids asking if you can show them how to do the center part again. Is that possible? Yeah, of course. Okay. Actually have some more yellow strips of paper over here. So very similar, very similar to the petals. Um, for this though, all I was doing is I took a yellow piece of paper, could be any color that you want. I just created a circle. Be a big circle, be a small circle. Probably enough space though to make sure that all of your petals are able to be attached to your flower, right? But it's too small and you got big petals, it's probably not gonna fit. Uh, and then after I did that, I just put a dab of glue here. And I pinched and I released. And then I put another smaller circle within. You can do a couple, you can do just one. It's really up to you and that's your center. Okay, hopefully that helps you out. Now, I'm going to attach my last petal for my Valentine's Day flower. Right. There we go. So at this point, everyone should have their center completed, their five petals, or excuse me, six petals attached to the center. And everything is drying nicely on the surface, whether you're at home or you're at camp, you're with grandma and grandpa today, that's where we're at with this. And then we're gonna roll right into Roll, ha, huh, funny. Roll right into our stem. Again, I chose green paper for my stem today. Very traditional, you could say, but if you want to spice it up, go with a, an orange or something else, feel free to. Now for the, the uh, stem, you need a minimum of three pieces of paper, okay? Now, the uh, strips here, two are going to have these little leaves off the side, and then one is sort of just going to be carried up to the top. And then that will adhere to the center of the, um, the flower. So let's take one of our uh, strips here, and what we're going to do is create our first leaf. Okay, and all I'm doing just creating a leaf that looks like, like that. Hopefully everyone can see. Right. Like the number nine. It might be a number six on your end, but just like that. And you want to just add a little bit of glue here so that you can form this little circle, right? This circle right here. Now for these leaves, they can be whatever shape and size you want them to be. They don't need to be the same for each of them. But what I've done is, that's my first leaf. So you should have one strip of paper that looks just like this. The lighting's a little off, but there we go. We're gonna do the exact same thing for leaf number two. You can roll as many times as you'd like. You can make a small leaf, you can make a really big leaf. I'm going to kind of keep mine around the same, um, same size. Again, just adding a small piece of, a uh, small uh, amount of glue, pinching, and releasing. So now I have my two leaves on the table. Are there any questions out there that I can answer before we start finishing this up? Yeah, they wouldn't. There's some kids who want to know, um, can you show them how to stick the petals to the center of the flower oh, again? Oh, yes, definitely. We're getting there. That's actually the next step here. So glad you asked. That last piece of paper that you have, that last strip of construction paper, you're going to want to take that. And we're going to glue both of these, both of our leaves, to it. So take a small amount of glue, starting with one of your leaves. 
add a small, excuse me, a small amount of glue. Nice line there, bead of glue. And then I'm going to take one with my extra piece with the stem and stick it right on there. Okay. So now I have that. Everyone can see that, that's side number one. And you're gonna to wanna to do the exact same step on the other side here. So I'm taking my glue, it really doesn't matter which side you glue. There's my bead of glue, or which piece of paper that you glue. And I'm smooshing them all together. Look at that. We have a stem, everyone, we have a stem. So what's the last part of this, right? The last part is adhering the stem to the rest of the flower. So to do that, I'm gonna just go up towards your top of your stem, right where my finger is pointing here. We're going to add a little bit of glue, maybe a little bit more than the other parts of the flower. We're going to stick that right onto the center. Okay, and now, my friends, you have a beautiful flower. How does that look? Let's wait just a couple seconds here for some of our friends to catch up, and then I would love if you could hold your finished flowers up to the camera and allow me to see the beautiful flowers that you all have created today. Wow. Those look awesome, everyone. Really, really nice. Whether that's a pink flower or purple or blue, those look really, really awesome. Now, some other ways that you can enhance your flower. If you have, I have some Elmer's glitter glue in front of me. Um, some of you may have this at home. If you don't, you can find it in, at Michael's. Um, you can take some of this Elmer's glitter glue and decorate different parts of the flower. This red, I think, would look really great as little beads on top of the petals. You can also just choose a different color if you'd like. And on the stem, if you're giving this to uh, a friend, uh, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, if you have a Sharpie marker, or a pen, pencil, you can write chew mom, for example, from Jonathan, from Susie, right here, and then give this to them. I know they will really love it and really appreciate all the hard work that you put into this project. Are there any last questions before we, we uh, start to wrap up today? They would like to know how do you do the stem, like the attaching the stem again. Yeah. All right, no worries. So let's Let's actually make a flower with two stems, right? This will be a unique one. So let's do the stem over one more time. So we started with the three pieces of paper, three pieces of green. Again, could be any color that you'd like. The one piece will be used and attached to the center. But to create those little leaves, all I did was take, starting at one end, roll, just like that, just like this. Oops, got to open my glue back up. A little pinch here, add some glue. And that's creating the leaf, our first leaf. You'll do the same thing for the other side. And again, like I mentioned a couple minutes ago, if you want a big leaf, hey, that's fine. If you want a tiny little leaf, that's cool as well. So let's make our second leaf. Add just enough glue so that you're able to adhere um, nice and neatly. Okay, so now we've got our two uh, leaves that are part of the stem. I'm going to take my center and I'm going to glue that right to both sides here. So it doesn't matter if you're gluing this piece or this piece, as long as the three pieces are glued together at the end of the day then we're able to make a pretty flower. Okay, so I'm just attaching the first leaf. Pressing and holding as we go, just to make sure the glue is adhering. 
Okay, and then just my last one here. There we go. So now we have one connected piece. And then to attach this to the center, everyone, just glue towards the top of the stem a small bead of the white glue and attach that to the center. So in this case, I have a flower with two stems, but it looks kind of cool. It almost looks like it has little legs and it's dancing. Hopefully that answered the question for you guys on the line there. All right, so that is the activity. I would love if you, everyone could once again hold them up so we can see them. I want to let you all know that uh, we would love to see these out on social media. So if you have mom or dad or uh, older adult to upload them to social media and use the hashtag make it with Elmer's or hashtag Elmer's products, we'd love to see them. Okay. And like I mentioned at the beginning of this class, we have five days of exciting activities. And if you are not signed up for one of these activities, ladies and gentlemen, you need to sign up today. If you had fun today, I want you to sign up again, because let me tell you what we have in store for you. Tomorrow, Tuesday, my friend, Courtney, who works on the Elmer's slime team, is going to be making crunchy spring slime and an emoji jar, okay? You're gonna be using clear glue, beads, and glitter, and making slime. On Wednesday of this week, same time, I'm gonna be here again, and we're going to be making a rainbow salt art canvas. I have my canvas, I've got my paintbrushes, some salt, watercolors ready to go. That's a really exciting class and you're not gonna wanna miss it. Then on Thursday, we're gonna be doing another slime activity. It's a twinkle star transparent blue slime and tricks. Courtney is going to be teaching that class again. I'm sure many of you are slime aficionados and you will not want to miss this class because this is one of our Elmer's slime experts teaching it. And then on Friday, the last day of five days of fun, we're doing an Elmer's rocket ship with my friend, Alex. She's going to be teaching this really awesome class. So if you're into rocket ships, another crafting activity, you'll want to check it out. Lastly, guys, you can find out, uh, see a recording of this class on the michaels.com website. Uh, michaels.com forward slash kids club online. Uh, more information can be found there. I want to thank you so much for attending this class today. We really, really appreciate it. And I hope you had an amazing time. I did. Now go take your flowers, either hold on to them for yourself or give them to someone special in your life. Have an amazing day and we will see you right here the next four days of this week for more fun and exciting activities. Bye everyone. Take care. Great seeing you. Thanks for coming. Bye. I see you right there. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Don't forget to tag the project on social media. Don't forget guys, we would love to see it. Those activities up online, hashtag Elmer's products or make it with Michaels, hashtag make it with Michaels, definitely. Thank you so much. The flowers came out really, really nice. Bye guys, thanks. Yes, I see those glue bottles. Elmer's, woo! Definitely. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's such a nice flower. That's really, really great. Thanks so much. I'm so glad that you were able to join us today. Again, if you're interested in more exciting classes this week, check out uh, michaels.com forward slash kids club online to register for those. We've got four more days of classes to go this week. Bye. Keep holding those flowers up. Yeah. Oh, that's great. That's a really pretty one. Oh, yeah. I see that. Very nice. Good job. Those are some big petals. That's really great. Hope you're giving it to a friend, family member. They're going to love that. It's really going to brighten their day.
Rock and roll, everyone. Make sure you come back tomorrow because we're going to be making slime tomorrow and Thursday. And if you're interested, on Wednesday, we're doing our canvas salt art activity with me on Wednesday. So if you have fun with me, you got to come back on Wednesday. Oh, those waves. I'll keep waving. Sure. Hello. Thanks, Jonathan. Okay, bye, guys. Take care, everyone.